Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video true and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where you join us in extremely interesting times. Let's just put it that way. Where the Emperor is the horrendously ugly, secretly sheer assassin, more high though, and uh, yeah, Western Europe's in a little bit of a mess. Though it looks like Burgundy might be able to actually, yeah, take advantage of some of that. Because the, um, the Sultan of Burgundy has basically, yeah, started attacking some of the larger players dotted around. I'm making a bit of a land grab over here as well. It's all a little bit of a mess, to be honest. All a little bit of a mess. Because the poor Holy Roman Empire has basically completely flipping collapsed. And, uh, yeah, they've got someone who's very clever on the throne, but he's not very good at anything else. And also Tuscany. Tuscany is now a major world power because I basically decided to throw away, yeah, a very large amount of my troops to make it so. I was kind of hoping to, you know, get something out of all of this, but uh, no, no, I didn't, which was a bit of a shame. Oh, speaking of which, I only just noticed that, yeah, Italy's in the process of disintegrating. Plenty of places have already broken away. Hang on, what are all you guys? You guys just... Independent? No, actually. Most of you are all together. So there's now a king of Sardinia and Corsica. And he actually manages to run various parts of, yeah, Italy itself. In fact, actually, it's mostly just this one kid. Right, you just basically run everything yourself, do you? No, no, there's a few other people floating around here. Some merchant republics and uh, this guy who's an impaler. They all report into this kid who's... Not particularly good, all things considered, but everyone seems, uh, well, sort of happy with him anyway. Anyway, let's not worry about any of that because that's not really the important thing. The important thing is, um, yeah, there's this Black Death thing and it's basically already started killing people. It looks like officially it's not supposed to be over here because smallpox is kind of blocking it. But uh, it's most definitely around, because uh, I think it's killed like three people so far, various dukes and whatnot, which is uh, all a little bit unfortunate. Because yeah, in particular right now, we've got some issues with succession, because unfortunately there's actually enough votes in Flipping Wales to outvote me at the moment, which is not how this is supposed to go. Still, for the moment at least, everything is uh, nicely lined up. Tanist Erbien would take over. Erbien was once upon a time, yeah, considered as a possible emperor, so it would be nice if he actually becomes emperor, but we're just going to have to keep an eye on things, because to be honest, this is going to be a rapidly evolving situation. And when I say rapidly evolving, I mean everyone's going to die. The Black Death is going to kill some of these people. Votes are going to change as new people come in, and old votes get wiped out, and new votes get cast, and... Uh, it's just going to be a mess. I've just got a horrible feeling this is going to be a bit of a mess, yes. Of course, the other nice thing about, yeah, potentially having Erbien as the next emperor is he actually comes with a fair bit of territory. The Duchy of Leinster, the Duchy of Mercia, the Duchy of Lancaster, and hang on, yeah, a couple of counties. So if I controlled him, I could finally sort out this horrendous border gore in Britain where I could actually have Mercia and Leinster split apart. That would be quite welcome, yes. Also, at some point, my little personal merchant republic of Norfolk has managed to, uh, yeah, incite a bit of trouble with the Normans, who are now just actually causing trouble in Norfolk. So, uh, okay, fine. Not really my business, I suppose. They're not really at war with me. We should probably just get time ticking along here and just see how long it's going to take for people to die. Okay, that's not someone dying. That's not as bad as I feared it might be. That is young Princess Emma, who is, uh, yeah... She's alright, actually. She's not bad at all. And she's... Oh, yes! She's the person who's actually going to be betrothed to, uh, yeah, the actual King of Portugal. Now, this works. I think I would like to very much get these two nice and hooked up. That'd just be spot on. So just, uh, yeah, get time ticking along here. Those two should hopefully get married. Though possibly he'll message me to ask me exactly the same thing. I accept... That would just be absolutely lovely. Well done. So is that done? Are me and Portugal maybe friends now? Yes, there we go. The king is now married to Princess Emma of Cornwall. She's not going to go passing on any... Okay, she's got... Well, she's got one week claim she might... Never mind. It's fine. It's 100% fine. Right, you, my good man. How about we... 
Why can't I form an alliance? Okay, uh, close to run civil and non-aggression pact with... Oh, yes, I made that actual, uh, yeah, betrothal when Emma was closely related to me. Now she's not closely related enough. Oh, well, no matter. Oh, I think we've just got another death going on here. Did you just die of... Yep, you died of the dreaded plague. That was one of the old counties of Gwent, which went over to... Oh, hang on. That's the Duke. Oh, that's perfect. Now, I think you've actually got both of those titles. Yes, yes you do. So as a result of that, now only one person, aside from me, has a vote in Wales. So Wales is back to being under my control, which is marvellously good news. So that was basically the perfect person to die. Well done. And apparently luxury clothes are just trendy. So yes, let's spend money on luxury clothes. That's just what we need to do right now. While the corpse carts are out and about. Why not, eh? Also, one is just on fire because of constant sieging and counter-sieging. And, uh, hello. Who are you exactly? Oh, hello. You're interesting. Right, so, uh, let's just check who you're related to. You are the son of Duke Odea, uh, the usurper who is married to an unfaithful wife. Okay, and... Ah! You are literally the grandson of the original... King Morhai, though. Not the current Morhai, though. Different Morhai, though. Apparently, it's just like, you know, it's a very common name in Brittany or something. Okay. So, that's nice. And you're... Oh, you're my... You're my brother, are you? And apparently, you're... Oh. Well, that's... That's sort of interesting. All these siblings. And you've only just... Ooh. You, you, my good man, might actually be flipping useful. Admittedly, you're probably not going to last very long, but who could we get you married to that might actually be... Oh. The Queen of Hungary. Well, Hungary does have a very decent amount of land. And Hungary is looking for, yeah, someone to... Well, I'm going to be honest, that's a wait of nine years. Are you seriously both going to be alive in nine years? I'm not convinced you are. Let's just quickly check the rules of Hungary here. Hungary is... Oh, Hungary's on gavel kind right now, which is, uh, well, not really a disaster. If she's willing to, yeah, get betrothed not matrilineally, honestly, that's, that's kind of fine. We could actually get someone of my dynasty onto the Hungarian throne. That'd be cool. Yep, purely because of a positive opinion and the prestige of it, she would go for this. All right, let's do it. It's never going to work out for me, though. Not in a million years. One or both of these people are going to be dead within the year. In fact, actually, not just both of them. If either of them die, or more high though himself dies, then it doesn't count anymore. Because, wait, hang on. No, it would count, because I'm not actually going for an alliance with these guys. I'm just going for trying to get children of my dynasty. So if more high though dies, it doesn't matter. But, honestly, probably one of those guys will, too. Though, then again, the Black Death is... It's starting to burn out. As time goes by, it's going to come through here and cause a lot of problems, but it is slowly burning itself out. Uh-oh. Right, that's that's Black Death right there in Middlesex. In fact, that's Black Death and Smallpox simultaneously. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not good for Middlesex right there. That's not good at all. Right, okay. Good news though, my new wife is pregnant, so let's get a few more children out there. A few more children might be useful because, well, I suspect some of my existing ones are going to die soon. I mean, we've already lost one, but that was kind of my own fault for training him as a secret assassin. And, oh, we've got ourselves, yep, presumably that's a Pope who just died of the plague there. We've also just lost our chief priest. He probably died of the plague too. In fact, you, my half-brother... Actually, have fun. Welcome to the council. Why not, eh? Hang on, were you the best I could do? Oh, right. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, blimey. Yes, I feel like all of these people right now are not doing their jobs. I feel like all these people are just uh, hanging out here, being a bit scared. And no, don't, don't do that. Do not flipping try it. Uh-oh. Okay, more people are dying. The deaths are, the deaths are accelerating slightly. It must be said. And oh, blimey. Sorry, the highest diplomacy skill I've got in the entire realm right now is flipping nine. Oh, marvellous. Well, don't invite anyone else in. That's probably a very, very bad idea. Right, so the leader of the Irish Revolt. Yeah, she can have that job. Why not? 
Now get back to the job I told you to do, which is going over to where the flipping plague is and trying to, like, fake some documents or something. Black Death has spread to Kent. It is most definitely on the island with us. This is no good. Also, I've just been excommunicated again. But honestly, I can't really blame the Pope. To be honest, I am secretly not a Catholic. So, does he know about that? No, he just knows that I'm lustful and owe money. So this is, this is probably not good at all. Right. Okay. So now I've been excommunicated a second time. I'm assuming my vassals are unimpressed with that, right? Yes, it's actually, it's only a minus 15 debuff. That's not that bad at all, really. Oh, there's plenty more succession happening. Yeah, okay, there's more, more happening over here. Can't quite keep up with who's dying at this point, but a lot of people are. Also, we're losing money every month. Um, just to be clear, oh flip, who just died? Right, Mordor of the Irish Revolt is dead. I'm not quite sure what killed her, but something killed her, so over to- Ooh! Okay, I'm not sure who you are or where you just came from, but congratulations, you're now the Chancellor. Uh, get back to doing- Okay, I should really stop sending people over here. There are a lot of corpses being thrown on the fire over here. And meanwhile, the King of Brittany has decided to declare a war on- Right, you want- Ah! You want this bit of territory back. That's perfectly reasonable, to be honest. So, you're almost certainly going to get that. So, I guess you're welcome to it. And, oh, bloody hell. Yeah. So, um... Western Europe's a bit of a mess of Black Death and Bordegor. Oh, France. France, France, France. Once you were quite scary and strong. And now... Now it's just a mess in every way possible. Also, the Middle East has apparently been ravaged by plague, which is something I was very aware of, yes. Absolutely. Uh, we're a bit behind the times, to be honest. In fact, uh, everything else too. Just the entire world being ravaged, actually, yes. Though I suppose now you pointed out, yeah, it does look pretty bad here. This does definitely look a little bit on the bad side, and... Wait, hang on. What are you guys all doing here? You didn't actually just do a crusade without me, did you? Because if you did, I'm going to be really annoyed. No, that's not a crusade. That is a sunny jihad for Syria, where the Byzantines are trying to hold off against it. All right, fine, that's reasonable. And right, um, so Death himself is just hanging out here. Minus sixty percent on tax, levy size, all the rest of that. Okay, the Grim Reaper is actually literally on the map right now. That is, that's concerning. Yes, and I'm actually. Yeah, I'm losing money every single month. Even though uh, the troops have all stood down. The only troops standing at the minute are my retinues. Yep, just double-checked on that. Now, that's a little bit um concerning. Very much so, in fact. Because, oh, the tax rates just collapsed. Okay. Um, I don't have money to invest in new infrastructure that would make more money. At some point, I might need to consider breaking down the flippin' retinues just to avoid bankruptcy. Because I think I've already... I've already borrowed money. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, a religious cult. <laughs> no, I definitely shouldn't do that. I should not do that. It's fine. Uh, do not found a religious cult. It's perfectly reasonable. Um, so... I could borrow from the Templars, but they don't have 300 money. They're probably struggling as well. That's donating. And that is, yeah, I've already taken the loan from the Jewish merchants. Okay, I could, ooh, I could borrow money from the assassins. Alright, that's, that's interesting. So, I could do that. And I could also expel all my Jewish subjects. That would get me, yeah, okay, that would cost me a little bit of gold. And it would hurt the tax rate further. But it would buy me enough money to keep going. Okay, so... What I can do is I can borrow money and then also borrow some more money. Oh, hang on. I've already borrowed the money from... Yeah, the Jewish monies have already given me the money. So now I could kick them out in order to get rid of the loan technique and just say, screw it, I'm not repaying you, and get another 621. If the situation becomes desperate, we may have no choice but to do that, but I'd rather not, obviously. Uh, and also... Ooh, Prince Disaster! Good old Prince Disaster. I like him. So yes, that was uh, one of the final children of Emperor Happiness, the supposedly just, but not really. And he is 
apparently well set up to be a learning sort, so go on then, why not? Oh, and here's one I haven't seen before. So apparently there's a bunch of shipwrecks from ships that just, I don't know, run into rocks or something just off the coast of Gwyneth. So the spoil should be given to the church, the commoners, or the crown. Honestly, 15 gold just as a one-off is barely going to keep me going at all. So yeah, I'm going to give it to the commoners. Hooray, commoners, etc. That, that should be helpful for some reason. And yep, Southern Europe is every bit of Europe, all right? Including just over the road. It's in flipping London. But here we go. It is burning out fast. All right, it's barely been a year since we first looked over at the Black Death slowly burning out. And already there's bits in the Middle East that are starting to recover. If we can just hold on for another, I don't know, maybe... Actually, no offense, the Black Death hasn't actually made it to us yet, which is interesting. I don't know if what's going on, or it's just spread to Essex there. I don't know if actually, yes, yeah, smallpox might actually be protecting us in some way, but it does seem to be not spreading as aggressively in Britain as it has done on the continent. Oh, wait, hang on. That's partly why I'm losing money. It's because, yeah, my retinue took a beating in the Crusade, and I'm having to pay to reformat it. Ah, okay. That I might be able to fix immediately. I'll go over to the military. Go over to the retinue. Yeah, do not actually reinforce at the maximum speed. Reinforce at half speed for the time being. There we go. So that, that's much better. Yes. So we'll keep recharging this because we do need the manpower at some point or other. But that should actually uh, get the economy back into a good bit of shape. And we've got ourselves uh, my first son with my new wife. It was unfortunately... Oh. Secluded. That's fine. We knew he was secluded. Also, he hates me. <laughs> Why does he hate me? Because of Tanistry, excommunicated. Okay, this baby has opinions on my excommunication. Whatever. Um, so, what do we want to call this chappy? I feel like Pidgey, because he's a baby right now, but as time goes by, who knows, maybe he should become a mighty Pidgeot who will soar over the entire empire. There we go. My first child shall in fact be called Pidgey. Prince Pidgey of Cornwall, spot on. Now, how's my manpower doing? Because it seems to be, yes, there we go. Manpower is starting to grow very, very nicely again. So we're already back up to, uh, yeah, 25,000 odd troops. And I've still got more of my own personal domain to regrow. So we should clear about, yeah, 30,000 nice and easy, which is marvellous. And offense is pretty much the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> You know, I've got 25 martial and zero diplomacy. So, oh, yeah. So, the Black Death just started spreading quite aggressively. I think the game realised it wasn't being mean enough to me. So, the Black Death is most certainly about to start causing trouble. And uh, young Gammon has also just come of age. He's not particularly interesting. Hang on, who's Gammon? The son of Salomon. Right, you are not important. But I will gladly get you married to a grand princess over somewhere in Russia, because it never hurts to have more members of my dynasty seated around. Oh, not this bloody event. I hate the there are pirates, let's immediately start yelling at each other event. It is a very, very annoying event, because often it means that just non-aggression packs and alliances you've negotiated just get flipping thrown out for no good reason. So, alright, fine. Also, what happened to Tuscany? I kind of bit noticed that Tuscany is now called Bavaria. What actually happened? So, you are now working for... Right, hang on. What the heck happened here? Just split this up a little bit. Right, there's now... There's no Tuscany at all. Right, what happened to Tuscany? And at least I can de-escalate the situation with Hungary. I'm just going to say that puts my mind at rest. 50 prestige lost. Fine, whatever. Oh, I'm pretty sure that Erbien just... Yeah, Erbien's dead, unfortunately. Weirdly, it wasn't Black Death, though. It was something else unrelated. So, okay. Uh, that means we've got ourselves a new hour. I need to look into that in a second. But yeah, it would appear that Bavaria was one of the... I don't know. Multiple kingdoms held by the King of Bohemia. He inherited that. So yeah, this is the history of uh, Bavaria. And now that has been peacefully usurped by... When did he peacefully usurp that? Because it was definitely Tuscany that was run by a woman. So, you know what? It's fine. I've got bigger things to worry about than what the heck's going on over in Eastern Europe. 
Oh yeah, the Black Death is on the move. It is at the flipping gates right now, but at least I'm actually not losing money. That's a relief, and it's an island too. It's an island, it's just basically swarmed over everything at this point. Okay, make sure that the actual laws are all drawn up properly here. The succession must be secured under all circumstances. We've got to keep Wales and the Empire together, that's all that matters. Now, if someone is willing to vote for King Matt, King Matt is distinctly average, but... Oh, he's a Kinslayer. Wait, when did he do that? Wait, was that me? No, that wasn't me. I'm not sure who he's killed. He's killed somebody important, though. I can't judge. I've been a Kinslayer, too. You know what? For safety, even though he's not spectacular, I'm just going to move all the votes over to King Matt of England, because he's currently King of England. He's very legitimate, all right? His father was Emperor Happiness the Just. His grandfather was Emperor Catastrophe the Just. Nobody has a better or more fair claim than King Matt of England, also known as Matt of the Terrible Moustache. So, yeah, let's just actually move the votes over to him. Right, there we go. Matt is officially tannist at this point. That's all absolutely fine. What do you want precisely? And do you want the... Oh, the Queen of Bulgaria. Hang on, isn't the... I swear Bulgaria is actually quite flippin' large. I think Bulgaria might actually be one of the biggest... Yeah. Bulgaria is really flipping large, actually. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, your husband's just died, but you want a matrilineal marriage. Well, you are a queen, and I am an emperor. So, I'm gonna say no to that, but I'm gonna see if maybe I can arrange something else for you. Something very prestigious. So this is, she's not going to say yes to, she would say yes to this random guy. Uh, wait, really? You're, you're willing to do that? You're, you're sure? Wait, who's this? He's just my nephew. He's just, who is this guy? <laughs> okay. She's willing to go for it purely because of the prestige and high opinion of me. So, I mean, let's just very quickly check that Tug Jewel Mab Solomon is actually definitely all of my... No, hang on, I can check that right here. Yeah, he's of my dynasty. All right, Tug Jewel, off you flipping go. That is definitely a better deal than what she was originally offering. So uh, we might be able to, yeah, get my flipping dynasty on the throne of Bulgaria. Hang on, what's Bulgaria actually running by at the minute? Uh, Bulgaria is primogeniture. Nice, and, oh, better and better. Right now, she's only got one daughter, who's a countess. So under primogeniture rules, hang on, this is... Uh, yep, yeah, agnatic cognatic. The male will gain preference. Oh, okay, just get out of sun. Get out of sun, and you might be able to do it, because Black Death's already passed you by. The Black Death is already burning out through Europe, though admittedly it's... It's at the flipping gate. It's made it. It's made it over here. That's good. I'm glad these two are actually married, but it's in Devon. The Black Death is in Devon right now. Keep those gates shut. All right. How much have I spent on this flipping hospital? I spent quite a lot on this bloody hospital. All right. This is the moment when hopefully this actually starts paying for itself. Let's just hope not too many flipping people die Come on, we can do this. We can flipping do this. And you are indeed, yeah, now you're officially a, a despot, which is, I don't like that. Because we would generally translate Basileus as king, but oh, it's in Cornwall. The hospital did nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, flipping no. Yeah, typically we translate Basileus as king, but it's like emperor in this game, and that bugs me a little bit. Now, let's have a look at what we've got here. Ooh, young Nellis. She is, yeah, she's kind of cool. I like her, that's uh, with that 30 there. Shame about the one. Other than that, that's actually not so bad. Screw it. Let's just get you married off to somebody. Any chance that anyone external is interested? No. No one external is interested in you matrilineally. So, the best thing we could probably do would be to just basically send her off somewhere safe. Because then, at the bare minimum, she'll survive. So, I'm just going to send her off to Hungary. Because she'd be safer there. Have fun. You will be safer there than you are here. So, yeah. Have some fun out there. That'll all be lovely. 
And I've just also managed to disintegrate a non-aggression pact between someone, someone... I'm sure that's not important. I'm sure it's fine. And Western Europe is indeed ravaged by plague. Yes. Yes, it is. It's not great. It's not great at all. But it is slowly starting to recede. Okay? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, it's all over Africa as well now. It's spread down in this direction too. Blimey heck. But I think it's... It's burning out. Slowly. Flipping slowly. How are we, by the way? Are we suffering or sick or anything? Also, do I actually have a, a court physician? <laughs> this would be an embarrassing time to learn I didn't have one. Yes, I thought I did. And he looks... Yeah, he's pretty good. All right, pretty good. He is a renowned physician already. He is a scholar. 14 learning. Possessed by Satan. But, you know, that's just how we perceive him. I'm sure he's not actually possessed by Satan, hopefully. Here we go. This is good. Some bits of Italy are already starting to clear. Even as far as up here, we've already got some bits of clearing. Yeah, here we go. Clear air. The Black Death is burning out. It's killed too many people too flipping quickly. How's the economy right now? We're back into a loss. Oh, dear. Right. So, oh. So, this whole Black Death situation, not looking great. So, loud complaints less common, mainly because everyone's like dead. So instead we've got an unbearable stench. So to show disapproval, commoners have started leaving their dead in a big pile just outside the gates. So guards can clear out the bodies or leave them. We can't risk infection. Disgusted. But then that's a risk too. If there's a giant pile of corpses just outside my door, that is also risky. Neither of these things are a good idea. But then if guards bring it back in... I mean, that feels like the... Screw it. Minus five isn't that bad. Leave them. Leave them. Survive. We just have to flipping survive for probably just a few more years. I hope we've got enough food for a few more years because I do not want to open those flipping gates. Alright, am I already craven? No, but I have got brave. So I could just give up brave to be fine. How do my vassals feel about this? They're feeling surprisingly positive about me. For a secret sheer assassin who's been excommunicated and is now cowering inside the walls during the Black Death, they are feeling surprisingly positive, yes. And apparently one of my fellow assassins is currently frail. No one has drawn attention to the matter. However, for all he knows, maybe there's a plot in the workings. I could blackmail him to get what I want. I want some of his influence. He'll become a bitter rival, but this guy is... I don't really worry too much about that. Yes, I want some of his influence. Yay, 300 divine power. And I can level up in the society. So right now I can use the... Yes, helpful visions. But they might negatively impact my health. My health's probably in enough trouble as it is thanks to the Black Death. Let's not do that. But I've also got... Yeah, I've also got attempt to abduct. Now, companion... Ooh, I just basically get intrigue plus one. Immediately. That's nice. And intimidate ruler for favour. Okay, let's actually just rank up in that case. And also, the King of Britain is dead. So, um, yeah, I'm guessing he's passed on. So we've got ourselves a new king over here. Who is looking, yeah, not great, to be honest. Fussy. Actually, erudite and kind is not bad. For a 14-year-old kid, not terrible. But he has got a learning focus, which is a bit of an odd choice. His vassals seem all right with him. Not really my business. So the old guy's totally just died of the Black Death. That's fine. And yeah, he's no longer martial either. And honestly, everyone seems pretty cool with me. So I'm just going to give this job to someone who's actually, you know, good at it. So yes, you, my good man, you can just get on with organising the army if you be... No, actually, train troops. You probably can't right now just because you're like, you know, busy or whatever. But you know, if you can, get on with training the troops, sure. And also, apparently, Duchess Sophie of Burgundy's just been getting on with her own business at the same time. What did you just actually... What did you just steal? She's just taken the county of Uxair from somebody. All right, well, I think she's just expanded her holdings somewhere. I'm just not quite sure 100% where, but somewhere she has, yes. And I am the next rank of assassin. Nice. Back in the Middle East, yep, the Byzantines have officially managed to hold off the Jihad for Syria, which is nice for them, and Black Death is starting to clear out of bits of Africa, Spain, Italy's pretty much entirely clear at this point. Looks like, yeah, 
the buys and tries to find. Though the slow fever following it up, which is uh, no good at all. It's starting to break. The world has survived. This is starting to look good. Uh, Eastern Europe is... No, Eastern Europe is actually looking a lot better. I'm not sure when these announcements come up, but they're coming up at very inappropriate times. Oh yeah, we've got ourselves a flaming bonfire on the flipping sea in Cornwall, and I don't like the look of that picture. The peasants in the realm are becoming convinced that Jews are behind the recent epidemic. I'm under increasing pressure from some to condemn the Jews and from others to protect them. Okay, something must be done. I don't really care. Um, so that is local tax modifier. Sorry, local tax minus 100%. Oh, flip. Something must be done. Local tax modifier. Oh, no. It doesn't actually matter which way I go. The tax rate is about to collapse for the next decade. I guess I just have to agree, because that means I get to keep at least some of my tax from these territories, and the revolt rate doesn't go up as much. Yes, something must be done. And also Africa's being ravaged by plague. No, it's not. It was much worse previously. Right, has that just actually kicked out the... No, it hasn't. Um, but I am actually... Oh, I'm losing so much money. Right, I'm so sorry, guys. I really do feel bad about this. I'm about to become arbitrary. Right, so we've kicked them out. That'll go to the crown, which is enough to keep me going for the time being. Also, I'd like to borrow some money from the assassin. So uh, you'll pay it back soon. Yes, totally. So, oh, that's actually losing divine power, but screw it. Go. Fine. Have I just gone into negative divine power? No, not quite. That's absolutely fine then. Okay. That's enough money to keep me going for now. How much do I need to repay? Uh, lose 200. Didn't I actually just borrow 250? Right, so basically it's actually... Le I swear I just borrowed 250, but now it's... No, hang on, so that's donating money to the assassins. So, oh, there's no interest. Oh, I like borrowing from the assassins. That's much better. Also, there's been more deaths in South Wales, so we've now got ourselves the Duchess of De Herbeth, and she also has... Uh, yeah, she's actually got the County of Gwent as well. Fine. So she's still only got one vote. That's okay. I'm worried that there's now 29 minor notifications. Uh, right, that's... Oh, it's mainly just technology spread. Fine. Oh, yes, and of course, because of the actual plague, just, you know, booming is disappearing and prosperous is disappearing. And that's also hurting the tax take. Oh, no. Economically, we are in a flipping hole right now. Um, okay. Uh, as for the retinues, just cancel all forms of retraining at the minute. Okay? Do not do any forms of retraining. We're just in too much trouble and okay. We've stabilized. We are not losing money at this exact moment in time. Now that, that I'm happy about. And hang on. The Pope is... Oh, I'm sorry. The guy who excommunicated me is now getting in touch and asking for favours. I have heard about the troubles in the Empire of Cornwall and must ask that you ensure the safety of the Jews. They're not to blame for the epidemics. Well, that's fine, Your Holiness, because by a very convenient coincidence, there are no Jews in Cornwall anymore. But please don't ask why. The Pope has made it clear he does not want the Jews blamed for this, but not everyone is listening to him. I still need to decide what to do. They're not to blame, or they are to blame, expel them. Lose 100 prestige, gain gold. I feel like I've already expelled the Jews, and hang on, how bad is the the civil unrest chance right now? It's, it's there, and I could get rid of it just by expelling all of the Jews, which I've already done. So really, when you think about it, this isn't wrong, because I've already expelled them, so doing it a second time, you know, barely even counts, to be honest. That was just, oh bloody hell. I'm a monster, right? Okay, more high though is just a flipping monster. And also, I'm pretty sure the actual Duchess of Burgundy, just, no, not Burgundy, whatever the other one is. Oh, bless, okay, everyone just stop dying. Yes, the new Duke of Burgundy, who's weirdly Anglo-Saxon, but whatever. And he right now has no stats whatsoever because he's literally only just been born. Wow. 
I think, yeah, his mother must have died just days after giving birth to him, which is uh, very unfortunate, but there we go. And he's already got himself a regent. Fine, leave it be. Doesn't affect me. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. And that is, I'm assuming that's just the war being over over there. Yeah, I'm guessing this is just that war has finally just actually managed to resolve itself. So, what does it look like? Yes, yeah, so now this territory does belong to Brittany again, as opposed to belonging to Gwent. So, she still owns those territories there. Let's just check the actual votes here. So, yeah, we've still got Matt. We've also got two votes for Count Guiten of Dumnonia. Right, whoever he is. He's... She's all right. That guy is okay. He's certainly not terrible. But I'd rather it be Matt, to be honest, just because of the advantages of Prince Delosh. Not again. No. No, 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 no. Enough of bloody Prince Delight. Definitely not. But yeah, Brittany is now clear of the plague, which hopefully means that, yep, there we go. Money is starting to go up there. And by the way, there is now a Burgundian revolt for someone else's claim. Well, right now you do have a zero-year-old baby on the throne, so I guess I can't blame you, to be honest. Looks like you'll be able to handle the revolt nice and easy, though. Looks like that's not a big deal in the slightest. And yep, France is now looking very clear of the Black Death. So it is, yeah, there's a couple of very small areas around here. And, uh oh. Oh no, Matt. Matt's dead. Oh, Matt, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm guessing he died of, yeah, the dreaded plague, and he's not going to be the last. So, who are you exactly? You are. You are not actually the son of Matt. Hang on, what's England on right now? England's on Agnatic Elective. Right, that's nice. Um, so, that's gone over to this kid who's four years old because obviously everyone decides to vote for a four-year-old kid. I will say, this is what I'm really looking forward to in Holy Fury. Oh, I didn't mention this, by the way. You're probably confused because Holy Fury is out and this isn't Holy Fury. Yes, I can't move over to Holy Fury because Holy Fury changes the map. So I've needed to stay on the old patch because if I went over to Holy Fury, this save file would not be compatible because like there's a whole new bunch of like Africa down at the bottom that's been added on. So yeah, map changes just completely break save file compatibility. So unfortunately, this is not Holy Fury, but if it were Holy Fury or rather if it were the free update that came with Holy Fury, you can actually see why people are voting a particular way under elective systems, which is a lot better because right now it was a great big mystery why people made very weird decisions. Still, if you can just make it to adulthood, this kid's doing okay. He's got himself three territories right now. Middlesex, Lincoln, and Worcester. Together with the Duchy of Wessex, the Duchy of Essex, and the Kingdom of England. So, uh, yeah. He's looking pretty good, all things considered. That's, that's a good result, though. He may well be about to immediately die. That's certainly true. And, uh, oh, he was also the steward. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, ma, I wanted you to be emperor. But that's, that's not going to fly anymore. Would you like to be steward and let's like help collect some tax? We really could desperately use some more tax, actually. Yes. Okay. So, check the votes here. Who's flipping left at this point? It's just these three guys. It's not going to be Delight, obviously. This kid is still a kid. Don't know if he's going to actually be any good or not when he comes of age. Right, so, I guess... Gew Orton. Yeah, I'm just going to say Gew Orton. I have no idea if that's right. I guess it's you by default, at least until more votes are cast elsewhere. Also, here's a downright weird announcement. The game is saying that I could usurp the Kingdom of Brittany. Really? Why? Who's got it now? And why exactly does he not have a legitimate claim on it? That's, that's unusual. Hang on, what's going on here? Kingdom of Brittany, Kingdom of Jerusalem... County of Durham, County of Leon. Okay. Um, why could I have that? So, yeah, you need to control 51% of it. Well, who's this guy? He, he works for me. Why would I, why would I want to do that? What are you talking about, game? I mean, the existing king is part of my dynasty. He seems to be a little bit angry that he's not on the council right now, and honestly, that's fine. I can just 
put him there. He's actually literally the best person for the job. So congratulations. Welcome to the council. Have fun in Flanders. It's still very, very sick. Right, Black Death continues to recede, but we got it much later than everyone else. So I'm guessing we're going to be stuck with it for quite some time. And I think the marshal's dead. We need to... Yeah, we need more marshals. Bring in the next marshal. And yep, there we go. And oh no. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I just want to survive this. I think we're just going to give up Brave. Give up Brave. Just keep the bloody peasants outside. Hold on for like two more years. It's fine. People are already dying. We do not want this to get worse. How does this council feel about me, by the way? It is a real mix. Some people who are oh, a discontent spy master. That's probably bad. Yeah. My spy master hates me because I'm ugly and excommunicated, uh, arbitrary, envious, all sorts of things. That's actually, yeah, just check my stats because I've picked up arbitrary, which is uh, not great. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad thing to have. Intrigue plus one for stewardship minus two and learning minus one. That's no good at all. And I think the number of troops is... Is that going down? I assume that must be going down because that used to once upon a time be like 30,000. But now it's only 22, but it just seemed to be... Yeah, that's literally going down in front of my eyes right there. I saw it. How are the Byzantines doing, by the way? How well have you guys recovered? You're, you're already back up to flipping 43,000. Dear oh flipping dear. Still, my half-sister is about to at some point actually marry the Basileus, so that's nice. And obviously the Black Death wasn't enough, there's been a follow-up infection of smallpox over in Spain and Africa. Plenty of slow fever over in the Byzantine districts. Yeah, okay. Everything looks to me to be settling down nicely with the exception of some odd little enclaves of the Black Death. This is not so bad. Not so bad at all, we just have to wait it out. We're doing alright. Lots of people are dead, but for the most part it's fine. And apparently I'm trying to focus on being an assassin, but a mayor keeps like, I don't know, flicking rubber bands at me or something, and he's very annoying. So, I can either decide to challenge him to a duel. He's 63, but he doesn't actually have any, yeah, negative things pertaining to his health, and he's a game master as well. But, Marshall's only 5. Okay, challenge him. Now, I'm assuming we mean challenge in the form of a duel. Now... No, 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 no. Am I allowed to use that gun, or is my learning too low to actually use it? I think it has, like, a, a thing associated with it, right? So, can I actually equip that? Uh, no, artifact is inactive, and I think that's because you... Hang on, I must say it's somewhere around here. Yes! You need to either be a member of the Hermetic Society or have learning equal or greater to 20. So I'm not clever enough to know how this gun works. That's fine. I do have some decent armor, okay, and I've got an actual decent sword as well. Yeah, that's personal combat skill up. Uh, just check the other sword isn't any better. No, that's my, like, ceremonial sword that's been replaced by the golden sword. So, I do have a decent sword and some decent armor. Okay, that's good. That's very good. So, maybe I'd actually do pretty well in this duel. I'm 51. I don't have any negative... Uh, no, I've got nothing negative to health, to be honest. And I'm... Oh, I'm brawny. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to beat the hell out of this guy because I feel like it. I'm going to be decent in a one-on-one -on -one duel, I feel like. Between brawny and my armor and my sword, this should be a good duel. It's a shame I'm not planning to take the gun, but apparently I don't know how to use it. And uh, here we go. A duel at midday the following day. A pair of daggers. No! Take the flipping long sword. Take the long sword. At least take the armor. Okay, here we go. Here we flipping go. I can win this. I got this. This is fine. We were evenly matched and we've been at it for hours. I knew I would not last for much longer. And as a last desperate measure, I fearlessly lunged at him. We fell to the ground and I managed to nick his arm. A fair victory companion. We should do this again. So, this gets me winning a duel. So, for the next 10 years... I get myself, oh, that's nice. Personal combat skill up, martial up, intrigue up. Yes, 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 yes. And I could if I wanted to tell the other assassins about this. That would get me prestige, divine power, and the same business. The alternative is we become close friends. No, 
I'm going to tell everyone else 300 divine power is flipping loads. In fact, could I actually do anything with it? So, uh, intimidate ruler for a favour. Okay, favours are good. Or I could just attempt to abduct people if I want them to go missing. But honestly, I don't have anyone I want to go missing at this point, so it's fine. Ooh, and we've got the new vote in. So, Prince Airbnb or something in Ireland, he's... Not particularly good. Fine. Ignore him. Stick with the existing plan. I can do without Prince Airbnb. Uh, now, there is actually, now I think about it, one person that I wouldn't actually mind. Oh, it's too late. I think Delight has died. Uh, because Delight was... Delight was around here somewhere. Hang on, where'd Delight go? Is anyone still voting for him? I think he's dead. I think we've missed our chance to get our revenge on Delight. I think Delight's gone. But actually, one person is now voting for Prince Disaster. Okay. Prince Disaster is looking fine. Not exactly remarkable, to be honest. But Prince Disaster is of an excellent line. One of the children of happiness, grandchildren of catastrophe. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Maybe Prince Disaster could be our saviour. And I can't help but notice the Black Death is starting to wear off. Though it came over to England and Kent very early. There might still be a bit of a delay yet. But soon. Soon. We've nearly flipping survived it. Okay. Just live a little bit flipping longer. Okay. Just hold the hell on. How's the economy by the way? We're making money but only flipping just. Only flipping just. Right. Oh and there's the Grim Reaper. He's chilling out in Surrey. Nice place. Lots of nice towns. I can understand why he might want to go on a holiday there. Ah, uh, speaking of disaster though. It would rather appear that he has got himself, yeah. A very poor education. That is a shame. That is a shame. That is a real flipping shame. Yeah, he's just my kinsman. He's of my dynasty. He's not close, so. Oh well. I had high hopes for you, my boy, but as it turns out, you have disgraced the legacy of both your father and grandfather. Oh, and that bloody Irish revolt is finally flipping done as well, which is very, very good news. However, we do have a um, bit of a small problem here, which is I just noticed that over here we've got ourselves... Uh, yes, apparently the Queen of Ireland, so many people have died, there's no longer a, a good line here. So if she were to die now then this place would actually go over to the Regent of Ireland, yes. And the Regent of Ireland is... Well, he's not actually... Ah, it's the problem that he's not landed in any way. So Ireland would just go independent. I'm supposing that is the case. Yes. Which does raise the slightly awkward question. At this point, should I actually just straight up revoke the Kingdom of Ireland purely for the sake of, uh, yeah, actually making sure it doesn't leave the realm. Because when you say the realm, when you say the realm here, does that mean it will leave the empire or does that mean it'll leave my... No, it's already not in my dynasty. So when it says leaves the realm, it must mean it would go independent and it would take a chunk of England with it. So with the Black Death here... You honestly can't field much in the way of troops. Oh, everyone's going to hate this. But I'm not risking Ireland going independent. Oh, if I do this, everyone's going to be minus 30. Please, let's not have a war about this, okay? Let's just quietly hand over Ireland to me. Okay, just hand it over. You can keep the duchy and the county... And... Wait, wait, what? Uh-oh! Oh, I've made a horrible mistake! Oh, everyone's decided... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Everyone's in on this. England is in on this. Brittany is... I think Brittany's in on this. A Brittany in on this? Hang on. Who are you guys working for right now, technically? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, everyone's in. Everyone's flipping in. It's now a question as to whether Cornwall and Wales can single-handedly beat literally everyone else. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh, no, guys, why? Well, I guess it was minus 30 as well. Okay. So, this has gone badly. Um, deploy immediately the actual retinue to just start mopping up some of the forces of Brittany. How much do you bastards have right now? Because, yeah, that's 2,000. Oh, that's too much. Okay. The problem is, all of these people are involved in the war too, so it's not just her troops, it's all of her... No, those are our vassal troops. Okay, 20,000. I think I've got more than 20,000. I mean, only just, but... Oh, no, I don't. Okay, what have I got left among my vassals? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> The army's been too badly battered by the plague and everything. I can't fight this. I've just started a rebellion. I can't possibly win. What happens if I lose, by the way? What will be the consequence of this? So, okay. Mohaido gets a strong claim on the Cornwall Revolt. Um, I lose 500 prestige. And from Mohaido's opinion of... Who's, who's that? Oh, that's her. Right, so a 13-year-old girl is actually about to bring down the Empire of Cornwall, I think. Um, I'm forced to actually abdicate. And... Is she going to stay in the Empire after we're done? Have I just basically lost the Empire? I might have just lost the Empire. Um, and oh. Title, yeah, I will no longer be able to revoke titles. Oh, flip. I'm going to lose Ireland at the bare minimum. Right. Um, well, don't don't give up without a fight. My troops are closer together. It's going to take Brittany time to get the troops over to me. At the absolute bare minimum, I might be able to... Yeah, I might be able to evacuate these forces. Bring the other... I'm going to run out of money. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Why is nobody standing with me? Wait, hang on. Don't I have allies? Who are my allies? I swear I've got, like, Portuguese allies or something. Ah, yes. The King of Aragon. That could work. How about an alliance? Yes. Okay. The King of Aragon is in. How about Bulgaria? Bulgaria is, is no. Okay. But I could potentially be saved if Aragon is willing to ship over its troops to come and help me. Which... I'm not sure if they will, but they might do. And no, Hungary's definitely not up for any of this, which is a shame. And neither are the Byzantines, who, yes, bear in mind, I think my sister-in-law or a cousin or something is engaged to marry the emperor of there. But if Aragon says yes, which they should do, I could potentially invite them over. Also, is the entire council empty right now? Because I bet the council's not looking so... No, actually, we only lost a handful of people. <laughs> It's fine. It's absolutely fine. You know what? This is this is okay. Because we've been needing to teach these bloody bastard upstart vassals a lesson for a while now. Alright? Raise the troops. Raise flipping all of them. And, okay, get them together in Devon. Everybody march to Devon. Meanwhile, uh, raise the actual local troops here. That is a thousand. I need slightly more than that, please. Uh, actually, you know what? That's, that's enough. I just need to potentially get the retinues home. So you guys stand down. You guys. You guys come over here. All I need is, yeah, you just basically destroy them. As soon as we've drawn the troops together. Is Perrin still alive, actually? That's an excellent point. Who are my commanders at the minute? Because we've got a very, very... Yes, we've got Perrin. And then we've got no valid candidates. Bloody hell. Perrin, it's all up to you. <laughs> Perrin, this one's all on flipping... Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, there's 5,000 right there. How did that even happen? No, retreat, guys. Guys, back off. We need to... We need to find a way to bring everyone together. Okay, we need to find a way to bring everyone together. I need intelligence. Um, right, council, deploy the spy master to this spot right here. She's going to refuse to go because she's secluded. These troops, together with these troops, there's, oh, there's 4,500. Okay, um, yeah, just evacuate them. 
abandon Brittany for the time being. Just, just abandon Brittany. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now, please come and help. I really desperately need you to come and help right now. You've only got 5,000 men. That's probably not enough. Okay, maybe he'll come. Maybe he'll assist. Uh, you guys, start working in this direction. Okay, you guys just basically go and hide at the very north if you can. Okay, right, and... Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Spain is going to come and save us. Spain will save us, damn it. Who's actually here in this fight? I don't know, but we're winning. And that means that's an opening for us to actually unite our forces. Get round over here. Join. Join up. These guys are not moving at the minute. Start moving down. If I can just get the forces all together, I've got a chance. The flipping Grim Reaper has come to watch this. This is the battle for the ages right here. Okay. Now, this is fine. This is... Everything's under control. The biggest force is right here. Merge these guys. Put Perrin in. Where the heck is Perrin? Perrin? Perrin, where are you? I need Perrin. I really desperately need Perrin right now. Okay. You are heading into Gwent. Gwent is defensible. I've almost made it to Gwent. Head to Gwent, send reinforcements. Okay. If there's about to be a major fight... If we can hold out in Gwent, we'll be alright. These guys are coming over here. Obviously, there's flipping problems with plague and whatnot. More forces coming in. Where the cock is Aragon? Aragon, please. Come on, Aragon. This is not the time to mess me about. Merge all armies. That is now 10,000. Where are the... Oh, no. My retinue's having its... Wait, what? Why... What? Why is... How are we winning? I mean, this is... Apparently my elite cavalry are just winning. Oh, I need to get these guys onto the mainland. Apparently they can flipping win. Okay. Start now just marching around as best we flipping can here. These guys must not be allowed to unify. But apparently my cavalry force is just... Okay, this is... Fascinating. My cavalry force is actually winning. Like, now not so much, but the... I think these guys are right. So, heavy cavalry, as it turns out, pretty good. Pretty good heavy cavalry. Okay, we've won two battles there. We're still at minus 6% somehow. Um, Deploy the forces over here. Can I actually get these guys on a boat? Because there's nowhere... With, like, safe, friendly anchorage to actually pull in, which is a concern. So, how do I actually get these guys on the boat? So, yeah, that's... This is all very confusing. Okay, here are my forces. They're suffering from really bad attrition due to supply limits. Which is not good. There's 11,000 men there. But these are good quality troops. These are my best. Okay, if we can't win with this, we can't win at all. And these guys are suffering from attrition as well. March to Gwent. Okay, we can try and take Gwent. Because if they try and relieve Gwent, we'll have the advantage of rivers and mountains in terms of defense. So Gwent is a decent place to just basically start off. And are they coming? They're coming! This is the one place they didn't want to fight. Okay, this is going to decide everything. So... I don't have my flipping commanders, and we're the defenders. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. That's not looking good. Those little bars aren't looking good at all. Despite the benefits of the hills, despite the benefit of the the river crossing, we might just win. I think they're... Yes, one of their flanks has basically collapsed. We've won the Battle of Brest. A pact... I don't care about that. That's really not important. We've managed to win another battle over here. We're down to... How are we at minus 10%? Why are we at minus 10%? How does that even make sense? The attacker controls all there. Oh, it's just going to naturally go down until we manage to take some form of holding. Right. Well, I think we're going to win this one. But the cost is going to be too high. We're going to have lost too many flipping men. Oh, this is no good at all. But... At least we're wearing them down. Where the cock, by the way, is Aragon? They said they were coming. 
And, oh, hang on. Princess Eileen. Wait, have you actually got... Right, Scotland. Scotland. Scotland, my good friend. So, I've got proposals for you. I've got so many proposals. Princess, that's your sister. Okay. You. Oh, you're not married either. Right. Well, it's your lucky day. Because I'm really flipping looking for allies right now. Okay. I am looking for, for so many. Apparently, I don't have anyone who's appropriate for that. Which is a problem. Um, okay. How about your, your sister? Okay. I'm willing to give you pretty much anything, actually. Yes, my nephew, Gammon. He's all right. He's had a decent religious education. No, would prefer matra. Screw it. You can have matrilineal. You can have flipping matrilineal. That's an non-aggression pact. Send it. Say yes. Okay, I need to bring Scotland into this war right now. Give them anything. It doesn't matter. 6,000 troops still standing. We are going to win the Battle of Gwent. Go back up to Scotland. Okay, this is fine. Everything's under control. Um, Scotland, 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 Scotland. Me and you need to chat about- What do you mean no? What do you flipping mean no? He doesn't like me. What if I sent him- I can't send him money. I'm losing 30 a turn. I've borrowed all the money I can borrow. Okay, but we're going to win the Battle of Gwent. The Battle of Gwent is... That's over. Yeah, the Battle of Gwent has been won. That puts us up to plus 7. And I've still got 8,000 men. And nothing seems to be strong enough. To clear out these bastards. I can't get in there, unfortunately. This place has got... I don't know how I flipping land. <laughs> I don't know how I land the boats. Because this is not friendly territory. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get my flipping retinue home. Which is a shame. Because 600 heavy cavalry could make a very, very big difference right now. You're going away, are you? Right, well in that case, I can just basically murder you. And win some more battles. That's another 500 men I can just clear out. That's 3,000. I've got 8,000 good quality men. Hang on. What happened to the... Oh, flip. We've survived. We've survived the Black Death. The Black Death is gone. We were just too busy dying for other unrelated reasons. Yay, I've won the Battle of Cardiff. Now with that done, where the cock is Perrin? Oh, she's secluded. Right, well, I can open the gates now. So, yes. If I open the gates, does Perrin come back? Open gates. Right, let a day or so pass. Right, try again. Perrin's available. Oh, Perrin's here. Right, Perrin. Oh, you are going to regret messing with me now. All right, let's go and flipping liberate Cornwall. All right, Cornwall will not fall today. Okay, oh, are you coming back? Are you coming back to Gwent? Are they coming? They're coming for another go. They're coming for another go. But this time, this time, we've got Perrin. Oh dear, looks to me like my centre is holding very, very firm indeed. Because you stupid bastards should not attack Perrin when she's on her home territory on top of a hill. No, no you should not. Okay, this is fine. I might not be able to win, but I might be able to fight these idiots to an actual... Yeah, I might be able to fight them to a white piece. I've still got 6,700 men, but we've got basically nothing left at this point. Where are the others? There's Aragon! Aragon has arrived! Oh, Aragon, you big damn heroes. How many troops have you just sent me? Oh, you magnificent bastards. This is where we turn the tide. This is it. Right here. Okay, this is... There's another 5,000. Right, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so flipping much. Right, allied order, yes, please attach this army. Attach this army to my troops. I would like to gather everything together, please. And there we go. We've got what we need. Perrin will now lead us to victory. These troops have abandoned Cornwall at this exact moment in time, which is marvellous. We're no longer suffering from attrition. How's the... Okay, income is recovering. Income is most definitely recovering. What do I need to do to turn this war around? And by the way, would you accept white peace? No, they wouldn't accept white peace right now. We still need to do more. And honestly, the forces that Aragon have sent are great, but they're not good enough. Who am I officially fighting right now? It's just me versus her. Where technically do you live? You live over here. Right. Well, I think I know what we need to do then. We're going straight over there and we're taking her flipping capital. Guys, with... Oh, hang on. Are you coming back to Gwent again? No, you're going to Somerset. 
if I march over there, they're going to march for my capital. Which is, by the way, would you mind actually, like, joining up with us as well, please? Apparently you already have. Right. Whoever you guys are, stay here, I guess. Yeah, 10,000 are marching in that direction. So that's... Do I really want to do this? No. I'm just going to come and basically finish them off again. Just because, oh yeah, they're, they're coming. They're flipping coming. Right, bring everything. Bring your lot. There's another 10,000 troops right there of the Cornish Revolt. I just need to kick the ass of these guys a few more times. She's down to 13,000 troops. I've got about 13,000 now with the assistance of Aragon. The Siege of Lidford has unfortunately, yeah, that's lost. But that's actually going to cost them. That's going to screw you over because you've just had to leave men to garrison the place. And a famous herald's arrived. Great. I'm so thrilled. Here we go. And now another big fight here. But oh dear. What's this? What's... Oh, hang on. King Ramiro himself is on one of the flipping flanks. Okay. Well, I don't think you're going to know. Perrin is basically a completely flipping immovable object. Nobody, nobody is going to break Perrin. Oh no, Perrin is just an absolute unstoppable force of flipping nature. She's a beast, up to 24%. Right, now, we need to take this place back. Okay, just get in there. Thank you. Right, we've taken that back. Next, oh, they're down to 3,600. Right, get over to her capital. Now's the flipping time. We march to their capital right now, and we just go and we take her capital off her. All right, that'll teach you, you stupid flipping bastard. She's going to be retreating for some time. We should probably be, yeah, halfway to her capital before she actually manages to regroup her forces. I mean, we could just hang out here and just kick her ass a couple more times. Honestly, that's probably not a terrible idea. We'll have to see about that. Right, and the Holy Roman Empire also wants to arrange a few bits of marriage. No, I think we're... Actually, in all fairness, why not? You're not important. Yes, I accept. Boom. Right. We're doing all right here. We're doing all right. We're about to cross the straits. Now we've got ourselves, yeah, handful more troops dotted around here, but nothing too dangerous. Betrothed can marry, can they? Oh, yes. This woman can actually marry. Enchantia willing to go for... No, not willing to go for matrilineal. Perfectly acceptable. Let's just marry myself into literally everything. And now we'll just cut through here. We'll murder these bastards. Uh, this is just spot on. Yeah, so those 4,000 odd troops are now coming back to my territory. But I'm about to reach their territory as well. And their territory is, uh, yeah, pretty drained because they've raised all the troops. I could send 5,000 troops back with Perrin to just basically completely kick these guys' ass and just leave 5,000 here. It's probably not a bad idea, especially as we're over supply limit. Yeah, that's a good idea then. So, split them apart. Now, who's with what exactly? The army of Perrin has only got 2,000. Oh, yes, of course. Technically, the army of... Okay, army of Perrin. So, you guys, make sure... Yeah, these guys are attached to us. That is definitely true. Army of Perrin, you start marching back. The other 2,600, you guys stick here. So, I've actually got 7,000 troops there because that's where the forces of Aragon are. So, Perrin, your job is now to march back home... And, no, no, not those guys. The other ones, please. Yeah, you guys, head over here. Finish them off again. We're at 13%. But now, we've got troops. We have got flipping troops on your capital. And I don't think you've got anything to take care of that. How many troops are you down to? Yeah, you've only got 7,000 troops. 4,000 of them are right there. And the others are just scattered in little bits and pieces. Oh, flip, we're going to win this war. We're going to win the flipping revolt. Screw you, you stupid revolting bastards. You are all, all going in prison. All right? Every last one of you is going in the oubliette. The same oubliette. You get to share one oubliette, okay? Maybe not even that. Maybe I'm going to, like, put an extra dividing wall in the oubliette so all of you are in half an oubliette. I'm still not 100% sure what an oubliette is, but I'm assuming that's worse. Also, oh dear. Um, so... Problems on problems. Apparently, it's actually time to pay back the assassins. And, um... Yeah, I feel like the Order of Assassins... <laughs> they're not the people you want to annoy. Um... 
Is there anyone I can borrow money of to pay off the assassins so they don't come and murder me? Because uh, that, that would be useful. Borrow from the Templars. I can't. Oh dear. I could try and extort the subjects, but I know I have to do it right now. This will put me into... I'm so... Oh no. I'm going to have to refuse to pay back the bloody assassins. Oh, that's going to go badly for me. Okay, focus on the important thing right now. Perrin is about to win this victory very, very handily. And my retinue can also just keep slaughtering these bastards. This should be a very easy victory. I mean, look at this. Perrin's, Perrin's basically not taking any casualties. Perrin is ridiculous. Also, how on earth can I possibly be over the supply limit right now? Well, only a tiny bit. It's only a very, very small amount of attrition. It's okay. Another victory right there, which is good. That was just the uh, the retinue forces. We're about to win a victory right here. There we go. You're down to 2,200 in this force. These guys are still doing their job here. Right. What do we need to do now? Probably. Honestly, I just want to chase you guys down. Yeah, let's just actually chase these guys down. Ideally, make sure they've not got enough men left over to actually, you know, follow up on any further attacks on Cornwall. Now, they were definitely fleeing north, so let's just head in that direction. And... Oh, dear. Right, what do we have here? The... Wait. Have you just put a hit out on me with myself? I see. I see, I see, I see. Yes, I've decided... So, wait, if I accept the mission, hmm, if I actually accept this mission, then presumably nobody else does. Yes, I'm going to accept this mission, so you can certainly trust me to get on with collecting the outstanding money. That is 100% definitely a thing that you can trust me to get right on. Also, I need this war to end before I run out of money, and money is going down. Like, oh, there we go. Just chase down these forces. Get over here. Head to Oxford. There we go. We're going to have a battle there. Then I'm going to be able to get out of the way in time. We're going to have one more battle. We're just going to slaughter these guys again. And then after that point, we should probably head over here. Slaughter this small English force. Take Middlesex. Over here. Yep. This force is already almost fallen. And, ah, young Dwian. If I recall correctly. Yes. You're pretty solid. Okay. Who are you exactly? That's, that's my niece close relation. Interesting. Okay. Any chance we've got... Oh, the King of Bavaria and the King of England would like to... Hang on. Non-aggression pact with the King of England. Would that immediately automatically pull England out of this here war? Because that... That would be welcome. But then actually, I don't really want England pulled out of the war right now. I'd like England to suffer horribly in about five minutes time. So... Yeah, actually, this is cool. My niece, who is very well-educated and very intelligent in general, everybody wants to marry her. Yeah, you know what? King of Bavaria. Though, actually, you know what? What can we do in terms of matrilineal? No, even though she's desirable. She's not desirable enough for a matrilineal marriage. But screw it. Let's just actually, you know, make contacts, make friends all over the world. This would be a good way of getting maybe the King of Bavaria on side. So, yes. You two guys can get yourselves betrothed, and then maybe we've got ourselves more allies down the line here. Not England, though. England has to suffer, and ooh. Apparently, I've managed to steal the hand of a saint, which is marvellous. So, screw you, you stupid bastard, and it's just jumped to 88% because I've just taken part of the capital. Oh, yes, and now it's just going to fly up because I've taken your capital. And there we go. I've decided to accept your suggestion. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. Head over here. I want to kick England's ass before this is all over, if you'd be so kind. All right. England aren't getting away empty-handed. So, oh, this is much better. Oh, is that a surrender? Is that a surrender, Bernie Chance? Hello. What would you like to do? So, may you live in harmony and contentment we propose. Oh, oh a white piece. You propose a white peace, do you? Well, that's interesting, because I was interested in that about a year ago, and you said no. So actually, actually, I've got this oubliette. 
And I really want to try it out because it's a new one. And I've put spikes in it. So, that has got your name all flipping over it. By the way, I'm about to go and murder the flipping English as well. Oh my goodness, would you believe Perrin? Perrin, you've actually just saved Cornwall. Perrin has saved us. Oh my goodness. Perrin has saved us all. And now, now we can just take Middlesex and... Yeah, the next time one of these little territories falls, that'll be the end of it. 95% already. I don't know where the rest of her army is right now, but it's not going to be enough to dislodge my forces from her capital. Oh, this is wonderful and sexy now. Blimey, though, that was... That was a little bit worrying for a second. Right, break down the boats. We don't need them anymore. They're probably very flipping expensive. Boats do rather seem to be. And there it flipping is. There it is. I think I'm about to go and force my demands on you. So let's see what actually happens as a result of that. Yes, you, you're going in prison. You're going very in prison. Enforce my demands. Lovely. I have, I can't believe I won that. Okay, so... What does Cornwall look like right now? Because presumably, yes, right now she is imprisoned because she tried to resist having this taken off her. So you've still got the problem that this is actually about to leave our territory. Wait, why am I not allowed to... I feel like I should be allowed to lock away the King of England too, to be perfectly honest. Like, that definitely feels like a thing I should be allowed to do, because he literally joined a revolt against me. But, okay. Apparently, I'm not allowed to. I really feel like I should be allowed to. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. Good. Everybody. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, look at this. My entire flipping kingdom is in the flipping oubliette. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so happy about this. The Duchess of De Herbeuf and the King of England. Oh, bloody hell, it's literally everyone. Oh, it was the Duke of Brittany as well. The Duke of Brittany joined in. Oh, wow. Okay, so basically, I've just beaten up literally the entire empire. <laughs> okay, so the slight problem now is everybody's not so keen on me. Everybody's not so keen at all. And apparently I'm, I'm supposed to have revoked your title. I don't seem to have it though. So, I mean, I do still need it. So, Kingdom of Ireland and, right, she's a traitor. Vassals, there are no vassals. <laughs> Every vassal I've got's in cocky prison. It's amazing. Uh, right, I'm having the Kingdom of Ireland off you, by the way. That's going to be mine now. Right, there we go. Kingdom of Ireland. In fact, actually, hang on. This is a very good opportunity for me to potentially have literally everything. I mean, we have lost a fair bit of the empire. I mean, all I wanted to do, I want to be clear, all I wanted to do was have Ireland so that I could actually stop it leaving the realm. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to move it to somebody else. But now that the opportunity presents itself, Everyone's in prison. I mean, literally, everyone's in prison. Everyone who's actually important to the realm is... Why is that in, in prison by... Well, why have you not got the bars? This guy's got the bars. Right. Everyone who's important is in prison. Anyway, some minor dukes are not, but every single flipping king and whatever is... Oh, blimey hack. Right. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that's enough for now. We've managed to survive the Black Death and we have survived the war to end all wars. Next time, this is a marvellous opportunity for me to do a little bit of spring cleaning. Spring cleaning across England. It is time to actually make some changes because at this point, as far as I can tell, I can just pretty much do whatever I want. Which is marvellous, because who's going to flipping stop me? The only people that possibly could stop me are currently in prison. So I can just... Oh, oh, this opens up so many opportunities. Join me next time as I go utterly mad, abuse my power, and basically try and fix everything and probably break it in the process. That'll be very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 2. Thank you very much, and goodbye.
No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead. 